already present charged particle, uh, they they may there will be chances of some more uh, collision, more deflections. So, uh, as a result, velocity of this charged particle will be affected due to the increase in the density of the charged particle. There is another term being used here is the drift velocity. So here is your little work to do for you people. You have to uh, discover, you have to find the difference between velocity and, and drift velocity of the charged particle. So, so this happened when both fields are equalized electric field and magnetic field. And from this equation, there is there's some another equation to solve. I remember uh, we have solved this equation from chapter number 26. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is the basic equation of the drift velocity. So I would like to show you the equation so that you will remember it. Question number 26.7. Yeah, this is the current density. This is the equation of the current density. What is meant by current density? Other than talking about the only thing that current is flowing, rather, we, uh, in some cases, we have to say. Uh, use the term current density means amount of current passing through certain area. So if there is more area, there will be more current through, through it. That's the, uh, in other words, what is meant by current density? Just like the other volume density, are, uh, we have studied different terms related to density. mass per unit volume or, or mass per unit length. So similarly, there is a uh, term related to current density. So then there is the term, uh, look at the here, here uh, on this diagram, right, left of this figure has the more widely spread line and right of the figure has narrow line, which is showing that, that it has the uh, density is increased on the right side of the equation because the current have the narrow path to pass, uh, pass through it. So they, on the, in this region, there will be more current density as compared to this one. Although the magnitude of the current is the same, but just due to the difference in the area, current density is the different. So different. Similarly, we will see the drift speed. Uh, what is the difference between drift speed and normal speed? If there is no there is no electric field applied on some material. Electrons will move randomly in random direction. Some may in the upward direction, going downward direction, going left, going right. They are being uh, collapsed. They have collision with other particles. They will be deflected randomly at very high speed. But when electric field is applied across this some material, now, are the elect or the charged particles will have to uh, move according to the external electric field. So, that the particle which which already be, uh, before the presence of the electric field moving in and, and independently, now they will have to follow the uh, they will force to move uh, in the direction of the uh, electric field. So. 
in the, in in such case the now the uh, their speed will be given the term as a drift speed right so its magnitude definitely will be very much less than the magnitude of the natural uh, velocity of the charged particle so it ag again depend upon the uh, current density and some other properties of the material so if there are if the current density uh, if the density is huge then there again there there will be some, uh, uh, more chances of the collision there are more uh, of the, each other loss of there are more chances of loss of energy so then current density will uh, it will be the two velocity will be different so this is the basically q is equal n a l into e and this is the definition of the charge right n a l means area and length of the material and n is the charge particle e is the charge on the material so as if if area is large then will be more chance more charge can be accumulated if length is large then more charge will be accumulated and similar the current is defined as the sorry time is defined as the uh, length over drift velocity then put the equation uh, into uh, definition both this equation into this def definition of the current i is equal to q over t so at the end this will be the equation of the current in specific this specific case so equation of the uh, drift velocity will is this one current density over n into e means the drift velocity depends upon the number of charged particles nature of the charged particle and current density so using making use of this equation in hall effect so you must have solved this equation you cannot use the direct uh, equation in the solution of the hall effect Here, yeah. so you have to when when you read the chair, you will go to you will go back to that uh, chapter number twenty six, and we'll solve this these equations. Then we will use uh, in this equa uh, equation to find the uh, final equation for the density of the charged particles. Right. So from this from this concept, Hall effect. We're driving so many things like drift velocity, like charge particle density, like nature of the charge particles. So uh, basically, uh, this concept, this effect, this experiment is being used to study the uh, semiconductor material. You can can study the to find the charge density. How how many charge charges? Are present in uh, in certain materials doping level. What is the doping level? Either it is uh, p type, n type. What is the doping level of the p type material? Impurities, concentrations. So, uh, in case of the n type, uh, how how many uh, electrons are present? How mu uh, much is doping is done? To make it n-type, so other factors in the for the some uh, uh, like sensor technology, all effect is studied, all effect is used. So you have to some pay some special attention on both in both topics uh, related to cross fields. Uh, I, I this also I think. So I, I will provide this solution of this equation, but uh, you will have to uh, rewrite the Hall effect by yourself and making use of the equation from previous chapters. So there are some practical applications or practical problems uh, related to this concept.
you have any question please raise your hands you may ask me directly we have few minutes left in the meeting <coughs> 